Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, nice to see you. Um, look, I think a lot of people are still probably still surprised to see you in a, in a Chelsea shot top. Um, tell us just first off how, how the move came about. Um, the move came about, you know, of course, like anything, as a person, you always strive to, you know, achieve stuff. Um, I just felt, you know, my time at City was getting um, limited on, on playing time um, for different reasons. And, you know, it's, it was not one that I could you know, afford to waste more time because, um, you know, when I look back in the future, I didn't ever wanted to look back and, you know, see a, a rise and a decline. So my thing was I need to, you know, keep that same level. Um, and a fresh challenge was was to, to be made. You won so much at City though. How difficult a decision was it and what kind of conversations did you have with the club? Um, I said it's something that um, since 17 I've 17, yeah, been regular starting um, and then to get to the, I feel like a, a peak time in my career, um, not to, you know, be playing as regular, it was something that I, you know, I wouldn't um, kind of accept and you know, I always try to always my personality is to try and fight and um, change the scenario, but it didn't. It couldn't couldn't come, and that was it. And look, why Chelsea? I suppose is in Chelsea going through such a <coughs> transformative period at the moment. Was that part of the attraction to come? Yeah, um, you know, at first, you know, with the few other options I had, it was more one that Taylor made for you know my personal goals, um, family. I think it. It makes a lot, lot of sense, and then you know, of course, with the club, the direction the club's going in, and you know, you look at Chelsea in the last couple of years. I think it's four or five finals that they've been in. Um, it's a team that shows that they're competing, um, and they're only going to get better. So, for me, you know, with the, the new ownership and the takeover, it, it, it made a lot of sense. Okay, Ian. Hi, Rain. How are you? Hi. Yeah. Um, is it like coming home? I mean, you've been away from London for a long time now. Was that a big draw to come back to, to London? Yeah, I feel like you know my my uh, my full journey, um, going up to Liverpool, manifesting what I wanted, um, then going to City, living the dream, and then now coming back to London as a, a grown adult and kind of been in in the football game a while, and you know, kind of feel like I've I've got my my head on my shoulders. I know exactly what I want from my life and football. So it's I think it's the perfect time to you know have a new challenge ahead of me. Outlined. The game time was a, a big thing about why you wanted to leave City and come to Chelsea. In terms of that, wide or false nine, as, as we talked about, where, where do you think you're going to be playing most at Chelsea? Where would you like to play most? Um, as you all know, like, my position is um, mainly as a winger. Um, but you know, some of the times I enjoy um, floating about and, and getting on the ball, but um, I always judge myself on how effective I am on the game. So. It depends um, where I'm going to be most effective um, at the moment. Last game against Evan played from the force nine position, and again, I'll be most happy where I can be effective and you know help my team. And how much are you looking forward to your home debut on Sunday against Spurs? Your England captain, your good friend Harry Kane, up against you. Yeah, it's a, as I said, it's a tough um, first couple of fixtures, um, and I think it's one that you know we we, we can test ourselves for sure. And, and kind of put us on a good stead for you know the season. Okay, Alex. Hi, Raheem. You mentioned uh, game time as well as a as a reason to come here. But did you feel like you needed to move again to keep kicking on as a player? Like you said, you didn't want to plateau or decline. Yeah, I wouldn't say a decline. As I said, with the game time, you've been limited with chances. So, like anything, I'm 27. I know I know my my standards and I know what I bring to a team, and I, I wouldn't accept uh, anything less. So, yeah. Uh, coming in as a serial winner, do you feel a pressure to come here and deliver straight away? No, I felt, as I said to you, pre-season was a up and down one in terms of results and what the manager wanted. Um, but like anything, you know, pre-season is not real. Um, but we tried to build on that and you can see um, from the, the short time that we came back at Cobham, um, the energy, the uni unity in the team, you know, it's probably one that you guys always hear all the, all the while. but. You know, when you can really feel that going into games, and I'm, I'm really optimistic um, being here, being in the building, and seeing how the, people, um, the guys here work, and seeing how passionate the, the, the manager is. So, yeah, it's one that I'm really optimistic about. Uh, Callum Hudson Adoy has spoken about how you've come in and, and helping younger players already. Is that a, a newer role for you, coming in at 27 and winning the Premier League four times? Is that something you've always done? No, I just think, and that's one of my um, traits where. You know, I always, um, no matter how 
f uh, how old you are, or I always think it's always good to try and nurture younger people you know, in whatever profession it is. And you know, you don't want a, a hostile environment for them to come in. You always want it to be one that they feel like they can flourish. You know, if uh, as again, if I can, ha if I was young, when I was young, I had someone like Steven Gerrard around me to look up to as an example. Went to national team. He had his arm around me, so it's it makes you a lot more relaxed in the, the camp, so you can. Um, do your best. So that's what I ever try to do: is um, have jokes and laugh, but at the same time make sure, you know, people are getting the work done and um, feeling comfortable. Moving on to Rob, and probably keep it two questions each as well for the time purposes. Yeah, Rahim, can I just take you back to Man City because you played most games than any other player under Pep Guardiola and scored most goals. I one hundred and thirty-one only a goal scored. How difficult was it to to make that decision to leave? Um, as I said, I think it was, uh, of course, with the time that I spent. At City, um, it's with a lot of memory. It's a lot of memories, a lot of top moments. Um, but I say the year, the year and a year and a bit that I was kind of in and out of the team. It taught me a lot about myself. It made me, um, you know, value um, a lot, a lot of things, and, and try to get things in order. And um, I said things, a lot of things happened for a reason. And you know, I, I kept with that mentality. And um, it was difficult, of course. Um, my kids go to school there. Um, my son now missing his friends, but again, it's those things in life that you know you have to make a decision that's best best for for yourself and of course for your your family. Okay, Rex, ITV. Raheem, welcome back to London. You grew up in West London. Does coming back here feel like coming home? Yeah, of course. Um, it's 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 it does feel like coming home. As I said, it's been a long time since 1415. I've been. Away from London, um, I hear people saying certain motorways, and it gets. I had to have a Scooby Scooby Doo where they're telling me to go, but I'm hoping to to learn it as I go along. I, I say I don't, I don't, I don't know much about you know my way around London, but it is home to me. Sadly, only a few short years ago, six Chelsea fans were banned from the club because of the abuse they directed to you. Did that play on your mind at all in coming to Chelsea, and do you think it's changed? Um, no, that's the first time I've actually even uh, remembered it. Actually, I've seen a short thing about it yesterday, um, but it, it wasn't a thing that played on my mind at all. Um, I can't let an incident from you know individuals change my perception on the club. Okay, move on to the video. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Dan Dickey, and I'm with uh, like I said, Tony. Um, you said you want to improve. You said you want to get better. Have you set goals for yourself and for the team for this season? Um, as I said, I've, I'm optimistic coming here in the first place. Um, with myself, I always set myself goals, so yeah, um, I know what I want to achieve personally, but of course what I would like to achieve with the football club, which is the most important. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go to Carrie and finish with Nick. Raheem Gareth Southgate was uh, with you at training yesterday and of course with the World Cup booming. How nice is it to keep building connections with the Chelsea players here with the World Cup in mind and how much did that shape your decision to come to Chelsea? Yeah, as I said, um, knowing the boys from England, um, they're a, a, a really top bunch of, of lads, so it made the transition, as I said, coming here a lot smoother than you know if you were to go somewhere you don't know anyone, so I literally came in and, and, and fit right in, so um, it was a, 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 good, a good transition. What did Gareth have to say to you about the um, the, the conversation with him after training yesterday was brief because I had to go into doping, so um, it was a, a quick one. I had to try and try and get it done. Okay, Nick, to finish this section. Raheem, um, you're obviously not at the age where you would have peaked yet in your career. It's still ahead of you, isn't it? So, can we see your best football at Chelsea? I mean, it's exciting, isn't it? To, like you said, you're coming back to London as a, a, a grown adult, and so put that together with your peak playing years. Could be, could be great, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited by the opportunity. Um, I've been given the opportunity again to, to come and showcase my talents. So um, it's one that I think now, um, you know, growing up a bit um, in terms of off the field, inside the change room, and in around the, the football club, it's it's a, a development, a, a developing side of me that I, that I would like to see a lot more, and you know, being be more involved in. You know things and decisions in the dress room. Just be more vocal, um, and, and trying to you know drive the team on. And what did um, Thomas, the manager, and the owner say to you? Obviously, you know when you were talking about them sort of finalising the movement. What did they 
sort of say that the reason why they wanted to, to bring you here because obviously they were very keen. You were sort of the top target if you like at the start of the summer. Yeah, I think it's um, what he said to me was just you know my directness, um, always threatening in behind to you know not always wanting it to feet going in behind. Um, but most of most importantly is how I attack the box and you know with the the fullbacks that we have here. Um, he said it, you know it's uh, one that he wants to to see a lot more. So I think that was mainly the conversation. Okay, cheers. Um, do the cameras off now?